Hello there and welcome to this new series of Power BI Tutorials and from in this series I will teach you the Power BI Tutorials step by step as to how to do the data visualization, data analysis, data cleaning and dashboarding within the Power BI utilizing its, some of the amazing features. So if you are already a user of my channel and have seen my previous video then welcome to this new series and you will going to find the same level of uh, or probably a better uh, Power BI tutorials but if you are new then you free to check out my other tutorials like the Tableau or the Click which I have pr produced earlier within a series to teach you those tools. So Power BI, so first of all what is Power BI and then we will look at uh, why you should really learn the Power BI and finally how you can get the Power BI. So this question starts with what is Power BI. So Power BI is a business intelligence tool which is similar to if you think about from the Microsoft Excel perspective if you are coming from Microsoft Excel or if you are coming from Tableau or if you are coming from Click. All of these is basically the business intelligence tool where Excel gives you a lot of flexibility from the perspective of how you can arrange visualize the data. Power BI basically takes the next step to further create the dashboards and the amazing user experience which sometimes is not possible within the power within the Microsoft Excel. So it's the natural step or the natural next step for the Excel users to learn this business intelligence tool where you can not only do the uh, data analysis, data visualization, but uh, data modeling and you know you can automate all of those entire steps which sometimes is a problematic or pretty manual in nature when you do it. On the other hand, Tableau and Click also provides a similar functionality which is related here in the Power BI. But Power BI has its own advantage of uh, how it does this entire data visualization and dashboarding piece and you will get to know more about it in this uh, series as to how different it is, how much flexibility you have and sometimes each tool has its advantage over it and we will keep on discussing it as we will move forward. So that's first thing that Power BI is the data visualization and the data modeling tool which helps you take care of almost every aspect of the data which you need to do for the dashboarding and reporting perspective. Now let's go to a one more step as to why you should learn the Power BI. So for that I, what I will show you is the website. So what I have over here is the Power BI website which shows its position within the uh, magic quadrant which is produced by the Gartner. So Gartner basically collects this uh, data and produces this on the yearly basis as to where each of the tools are. And if you see Microsoft is leading and I believe mainly because of Power BI because if I remember around four or five years back you know when I was producing the click related tutorials the Tableau and click was really high and at that time Microsoft really introduced the Power BI and after that its rating has gone high and the main reason is this that because Microsoft is offering this Power BI as part of its entire analytics suite and comparatively its licensing cost is very much less when you compare with the other vendors like the Click or Tableau. That's why a lot of people, a lot of organizations who already have Microsoft suites which is probably the case with most of the more fortune 100, 500 or 1000 organization they are already uh, going to the Microsoft for buying this. However, there is uh, no denying that other vendors also have the presence but Microsoft is gaining the advantage because the suite, the analytics suite is already present over there. So that's one of the reasons why you should learn it because uh, the analytics suite is already present within the organization and uh, once you learn it the chances is that uh, having the knowledge of Power BI will stand you apart from those hundreds of thousands of uh, other people who probably know other tools but not the Power BI. So with that how next step is how you can download and install Power BI. So for this what you have is this website so I can give you this link which will help you come to this website to download and install. So once you are on this website you have the multiple offering like uh, the Microsoft Power BI desktop, 
mobile, uh, on-premise data gateway, report builder, and uh, BI report server. But what you basically need is the Microsoft Power BI. And here you have two different options. Either you can click on download or advanced download option. If you click on download, what you need to have is the Microsoft Store. So by default, it is already present if you are running the Windows 10 or in other windows, you can also have this Microsoft Store. Otherwise, you can get this option where you can directly download from this website. Once you click over here, what you get is uh, basically a different screen. Let me show you that screen. And uh, here you can choose your language and click on download. Down there, you also have the information about the details of the file as the 64 uh, bit setup is 295 and the other setup which is 32 bit is of 271 MB. Sorry if I have said by this. It, should, it is 295 MB as it is mentioned over here. And then uh, you have the system requirements and uh, the installation instruction. So once you are there, what you can do is click on the download. Here you will get the file. So what you do is, my recommendation is uh, installing the 64 bit. So you click over there and uh, then you can have this start installing. And for that, we will we have this download summary as to where we need to go. And then we need to, I'll just move myself. We will click on the next and this will ask us to, or this will basically uh, pop up this screen where I want to download. So I can come here on the PBI now, desktop download and click save. Since I already have it, I will not do it again. So I'll just click cancel. But in your case, if you don't have it, then you click on this save. So once you are done there, the installation is very easy like uh, any other Microsoft application. It's a setup, for example, like this, where once you will double click on the screen or on the software which you have downloaded, then once you double click, you will get this screen and you will click on the next and it will going to install the software once you click finish what you will going to get is this screen which is also in my case if i show you this is the screen which i am getting once i had installed it using that simple wizard which was given over there so once it is installed you will have this uh, this screen and we will take it from here but before i close this what i will show you is one more information related to um related to this so if i just go back to this screen what i am also uh, doing this time to make your life a little bit more easy is to capture the information about the videos that i will going to create so what it has is the the different videos that i am planning so so far i have planned 10 videos as you can see it over here and i will put the tile this this uh, link in the description as well so i look for your recommendation as well that uh, what sort of uh, video tutorial will be useful for you and then i can produce that so right now we are over here where we have covered the what is power bi desktop and how to download and install it i will put the link over here so that you can easily get it uh, uh, from from the description link if let's say you are coming here after a long time and probably have produced a lot of videos this is the good feature that you will going to get where you can search it easily in the readable file and uh, jump to any of the tutorial that you are looking for but don't forget to give me your recommendation really look forward for what your suggestion is for creating the videos but i will keep on adding the information on this list so look forward for this and i will put this in every video as well so you will keep seeing that how i'm progressing along with these series and my plan is to produce as much as possible but close to 100 is what i'm targeting the 100 video series like i did with the other tutorials as well so that you will get complete information out of the power bi so that's about how uh, you can get the power bi what is power bi and the plan ahead for how we will progress together in the power bi tutorial so that's about it and i'll meet you in the next video where we will going to take a walkthrough of power bi software